Cordy going across to Barrows and it's rather a loose ball. Osborne slides in and slides in well and chips it in. Well, there you go. That's what Jamie Osborne can do for you. Right after he comes onto the field, he chips Archie Mare from distance. And that an example of just the all round play that Jamie Osborne brings to the Moors as he slides in there up against Barrows, showing good anticipation of where the ball was going to end up, sensing that he could catch Barrows out. Anyway. Floated in, header away, here's Archer. The touch from the substitute, he's got the pace as well. Skips away Archer, has Cranston in the centre. Here's Cranston! And wouldn't you know it, the former Morecambe player returns and levels up the game for Solihull Moors. Terrific play from Archer. And the former player comes back to haunt them. But now Stora will look to chip it forward initially, then play short to Gleeson, and now he'll chip it forward looking for Hudlin. It's a decent ball. Hudlin's in contention to win. It brings it down, takes a good second touch, and now a we'll fire at goal. What a goal from Kyle Hudlin. Superb first touch to take it on his chest then bring it away from the defender and then just blast it. But with precision, Sam Johnson got a fingertip to it. Gray, Gray or Silver, who knows? Either way, Maycock going to the outside with Archer. Vinci wanted to go to the inside of his defender there and then he does well to steal it away uh, from the central midfielder, Smith, who was tracking back. Handsome back to Stora, Maycock in position to go on. This is really fluid football. And Sabara's in acres of space. Oh and God. you know that <laughs> that's goal. always going to be free. That's too easy, really, isn't it? Well, we said earlier, Ben, that they, they, when they get it into the final third, they can play football, these boys. And that was scintillating, wasn't it? What a goal. Archer doing really well to start with. That low centre of gravity causing issues. And then the ball breaking back to, to Maycock, I think it was, and a couple of passes, and Sabara was through. What a finish from Sabara. Great goal. Not to count your box. This isn't a team that doesn't want to win this game. Oh, she's here trying to loop the ball in once again, and it hits right to Hudlin. What a goal! He knew nothing about it, but he's just back heeled it past Slocum, who wasn't really ideal in position, and the Moors have gotten what they deserve. And you talk about technique from Kyle Hudlin. Oh, I don't even know where the goal is. I'll just back heel it. Um, he's gone and done it. Oh, fantastic stuff, Ben. Brilliant, let's have a look at this. Loose from the county players. But again, this is what we're talking about. Hudlin is not your architectural batroom ram. He's a tidy player, he's a skillful player. And that's, a, that's an unbelievable finish. But a yellow shirt, not able to get on the end of it. However, given away, Stora now towards Donawa. Can he get through on goal? Hancock's with him. He's gonna go for it himself and he gets his hat trick, just in Donawa. And look at everybody racing towards him. Well, those of you who've been calling for a start, what a start you've got from Justin Dunawa. A hat trick. He caps it off in stoppage time on the counter, just blasting it past Adam Smith at the near post. Yeah, he's given the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever with the power of that shot. Um, Han Hancock was running up in support, but there was no way on earth the ball was going to be passed to Hancock on that occasion. Donna had two goals to his credit already, uh, potential for the hat trick, and he's took that superbly. Um, the strike and his strike wouldn't proud of.